in uh, sophomore mathematics, we asked the question, um, how do we know that the Earth is spinning on its axis? Uh, Ptolemy, um, one of the first of the great a astronomical scientists, um, argued that the, uh, there's no evidence that the Earth is spinning. You might think that the sun moving, huh, from the east to the west on a daily basis is uh, evidence enough. And uh, he, s he seems to think that that's possible, but there's no physical evidence, right? We don't feel ourselves moving. And it wasn't until hundreds of years later hundreds that there were devised experiments to show that indeed the earth was spinning. We have one of them. They're called the Foucault pendulum. The inventor of this um, Foucault pendulum obviously was uh, Monsieur Foucault, first name Leon. And um, he was a metal worker and something of an engineer and a physicist. In his basement, um, and it must have been a large basement, he uh, in doing some metal work he noticed that a, a long slender rod that he had in a lathe, which he also had spinning, um, he accidentally set vibrating. It remained in the same vibrational orientations, and it struck him that he could use that physical principle of a vibrating object wanting to stay in its plane of vibration to demonstrate the rotation of the Earth. All he needed was, instead of a vibrating rod, a pendulum, another vibrating uh, apparatus. And instead of a, a lathe that's twisting, he would fix it in the Earth. In, in doing that, he was able to demonstrate that in fact, the Earth was spinning. Ours is um, a pendulum that has a bob of about 235 pounds. It's made of brass, solid brass, it's suspended by a cable uh, that's, I think, about 25 feet from um, within the upper floor ceiling. It hangs from a pivot that um, allows for a free rotation. In this case, it's the rotation of the building, St. Albert's, about the pendulum. So the pendulum is doing only one simple thing, swinging up, and swinging down. It has no in interest in twisting itself around. There are no extra currents of air or fans or shaking or anything like that that makes that pendulum to want to twist and move out of its plane of swinging. So the only reason that all these pegs behind me get knocked over in less than about two days, but certainly more than a day, is because it's not the pendulum twisting about, but the floor under the pendulum. In fact, if the floor, then the whole building, and if the whole building, then the whole earth. <laughs>